Now to a family held hostage in their own home, the culprit tens of thousands of bees. It is so bad there is honey coming out of the vents in their home. Think about that, but today they finally are getting help. Marcelino Benito live in West Houston. Marcelino, you saw these bees up close. How bad is it? Well, to be honest with you, Len, I didn't get too close. Bees and I don't mix very well, but my photographer did. I want to show you there's still a few stragglers left up there. The situation was a whole lot worse for this family. Earlier, this family feared that one of their children was going to get stung. So they start coming out from right here. At the Pines condos along Memorial Drive. It's honey. Immediately when I saw them, I was like, okay, this is not good. Hokey Housley quickly realized those bussing bees outside her door were going to be a problem. She first reported it to property managers May 7th. Just kept getting worse, and it looks like a tornado of bees. She shot these videos, trying to pressure management to respond. They just start swarming, and you see them just in the middle of the street, just everywhere. A day after posting her videos to social media, <laughs> property management sent help. These people had their hands full. Claude Griffin with Gotcha Pest Control says there were two hives in the ceiling and quickly were starting to take over the front and back doors. It's just a huge amount, like you cannot come outside. So KHOU 11 News photojournalist Greg Hamilton suited up. This is stupid. And tagged along with Griffin to capture all the action. Approximately 80,000 bees were living inside this family's home. There's just no air here today. They removed the hives and 60 pounds of honeycomb. So bad, honey was oozing from their vents. All the way down from the first floor to the second floor to the third floor to the concrete. That's how much is in there. It was over the top. These condos were hard hit during Harvey. Griffin says multiple buildings in this complex now dealing with wasps, bees, and other critters. It should not have taken this long. Housley frustrated it took 10 days to get help, but relieved her uninvited guests have officially been kicked out. Better late than never, I guess. Now the bees will be gone in just a few days, but another problem this family might be facing is roaches. Our bee guy told us after these bees leave, they leave all this honey behind. That honey brings out a roach problem for a lot of these families dealing with this issue in this neighborhood. I do also want to give another shout out to my photographer, Greg Hamilton. Without him, this story wouldn't have happened today. I, guys, am allergic to bees, so I stayed as far away as possible. So if you see Greg in the newsroom, give him a high five for his work today. Yeah. Guys, back to you. We, we will certainly do that. Thanks, Marcelino. Hopefully they'll get that resolved.